I've made three films a year since 1959 or 60. That's a hundred and some films. I average, you know, my career never doesn't go up and down. It's just go. You were in the heyday of American experimental film. How did you fall into that? Well, Ron Rice, a great genius who died at 28 or 29 years old in Mexico, we made The Flower Thief and The Queen of Sheba pre-Andy, pre-Blair Witch Project, pre-everything. And Ron was a great camera person. He, he picked the locations and then he, casting and the locations of, half the movie right there. And he picked uh, great people, and the people who were burning out, and most of them are, I guess they're all dead except me. And he'd, he'd put us in these locations, he's like this broken down firehouse, which is like an enormous factory. And we'd improvise immediately, and it was one shot. Uh, you know, you couldn't control these people anyway. We were all drunk and high and everything. So it was like one shot, one location, but it, but and we knew something was happening, but we didn't know what. And everything was happening anyway, on in real life it and was an in, in films. Of yeah. Creativity. And then Hollywood was so square at the time; we were defying everything. How did you meet Andy? That's history. That's Andy met me. <laughs> I was on the scene. Uh, with films two or three years before we made Tarzan in, in California. Henry Geltzeller, who was a curator of modern art at the Metropolitan, this is in 1963, he saw me wandering and he was a fan of mine from poetry readings in the village. And he said, do you want to go over to Andy Warhol's house? This is up near the Met. And I said, sure, because Andy had done the Campbell Soup paintings, and I thought that was a revolutionary statement. It's like turning the spotlight of American advertising right up against them and saying this, a, a, a re replica of the Campbell soup can will now cost you $2,000. Yeah. And that, I thought that was amazing and brilliant, ironic and satirical and everything. So I said, of course. And uh, Andy, uh, I hear I got the royal treatment with little cucumber sandwiches and his mother came downstairs and, or up from the basement. They said he had her trapped in the basement, <laughs> but that's not quite true. No, they, they peasants like the basement. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm famous enough so the people, if they even hear that I worked with Andy Warhol, they start to pick my brains. And that can be, that can be annoying. It depends on how they do it, you know, actually. But I'm cursed. You know, I was a superstar before I met Andy. 